for this adventure, good morning. You're gonna need two things. Yep. Binoculars. What do we got? And an eagle eye. You can actually see rings on the bill. Colorado is home to hundreds of species of birds. He's right in the top right. You might have to move the scope a little bit. You just gotta know where to look. Could you take a look, see if maybe we have a barrows? Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge is known to bird enthusiasts as a go-to spot to get the most bang for your duck. I think last time I checked, there's been over 270 different species reported here. In the words of Michelle Robbins, yes. this is an urban oasis for a bird nerd. I did not wear my bird nerd t-shirt, but I do have one. <laughs> so. Today she's leading the flock. They were right in there. Guiding a group from Denver Audubon on a mission to find and identify as many birds as they can. We saw the hooded merganser, the buffle head, American widgeon, The Wildlife Refuge is more than 15,000 acres of protected land, spared from Denver's sprawling development due to a complex history of military activity. It became a U.S. Army chemical weapons manufacturing site in the 1940s, notably producing sarin gas and napalm. But improper disposal of toxic waste led to contamination of portions of the soil and groundwater. The arsenal eventually shut down operations, and billions of dollars were spent in cleanup. It was then the birds that changed everything. The discovery of roosting bald eagles on the arsenal in 1986 began a push by conservationists to protect the area from further damage. Finally, in 1992, Congress voted to transform it from a strategic wartime arsenal into the wildlife refuge you see today. So we have the long-billed dowagers, they are back. That's okay. exciting. Which has been a boon for bird lovers like Michelle. Well, what I really like about it is there's so many different species you can see in one day. She says this is one of her closest opportunities from home to escape the hustle of the city. So I manage data all day long mm -hmm. and make maps and um, sit at a computer. So for me, this is, this is wonderful to get outside and, and walk around and take people birding. It's a peaceful place to relax and watch life fly by. There's always something something to be found. Travis Ketchatorian, 9 News.